So now let's actually get to the preview of the Vale Adelaide 500. Of course, it's this weekend. We will be attending as uh, as media, which we announced recently, which Pretty is cool. re- really, Super really exciting. exciting. Fantastic <laughs> opportunity for Let's Talk Motorsport as well and mm-hmm. Slipstream. But uh, yeah, round final. The is championship is this about is to it. end. Who do you reckon is going to get it? Will Brown. Will Brown. Yeah. Do you know what's funny? Because I, by the way, Will Brown. But <laughs> do you know what was funny? You, you said you were you were like you actually changed your answer to Chaz Mostert halfway. Did I? Yeah, and I was the one who who stayed with Will. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I, I like Chaz. And if Chaz didn't have the terrible sand down, I think it was. Oh, that wasn't that bad. The Holdsworth spin. Yeah. Yeah, the Holdsworth spin didn't help. Probably would still be in the contest. Mm. And oh, and oh, the, the Gold Coast Gold Coast ruined him. That destroyed him with the the. I don't the, even know what the it was. Gold Coast. I reckon he'd get second back. Ahead yes. of Feeney. he yes. would have still be still still been in it if he had a good result. Yeah, hundred um, percent. I think they should be super proud. I mean, this is a team that has switched manufacturers mm. and will be doing it again. <laughs> and will be doing it again. I mean, one more year, one and then. More year. Yeah. But it's going to be actually really interesting to see how that team performs next year because they do have to put resources into mm-hmm. the new car that they're building. So how much yeah. time do you yeah, spend? But also, but also. How much time and resources do Ford put into it, knowing that they are going to be with a different manufacturer? Good point. Do you give them? It's a bit awkward. Do you give them the good bits or like extra data? I don't know. I don't think they're going to do that well next year, just purely for that. You know, the resources to build a new car. Ford doesn't want you to know the latest things that they're doing to make their cars quicker. It's going to be really, really fascinating. Aren't there are also rumors that DJ Arb could be getting, sorry, Tickford could get in the Ford. What's it called? The factory, the factory, the factory uh, I guess, replaced what, DJR as well, the What about the fact that the team, might be, team. the team might be for sale? What about that? Like, Yeah, that's interesting. I don't know to so what extent. Up for sale um, well, yeah, I mean, mm. it's motorsport. Mm. But Tickford, though, I reckon they'll be the ones to beat this weekend anyway. Mm. Um, they're always strong here. Cam Borders won last year with the Ken Block livery, that, that which, was, cool. which was really cool. Uh, he was really strong at Gold Coast. So Randall I expect the same. Quick. He could. It do was my very surprise well, yeah. of the weekend. I think Will just needs to, yeah, just stay out of trouble. Um, watch out for one, turn one, turn two. Will just turn needs three. to do. Will just needs to not do what he did last year at Adelaide, which was yes. crash turn, uh, turn four. Shit, yes. that was the most underwhelming <laughs> championship end. Yeah, when he and crashed on that one. I was happy, Izzy. but anyway. Uh, yeah. Um. Definitely. I mean, I, I did go. For, I did go for Brody. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah. And Erebus at the time. That's changed now. Well, that actually helped out Brody because he had a shock. I was weekend. actually, I was actually inside yeah. the actual Red Bull team. Oh, yeah, you were. at the time when it happened, and like literally, it was just a silence. Mayhem. That would have yeah. been after. Oh. Ah, yeah, you yeah, know, like yeah, after it happened, you know, like it was just like complete silence. Like they knew that. Yeah, now we've that we've it. lost her. Yeah. But look, the um, everything about the Adelaide 500 is looking really, really exciting. I think the event has done a a really, really good job promoting why people should be coming and the numbers that are being thrown around no matter how many people are expected to be there over mm. the course of the weekend i mean we're talking about over a hundred and ten thousand people across the each day coming mm. coming into that's almost grand prix numbers actually this could be passing grand prix numbers no no um grand prix had 450 the whole thing didn't they yeah, but Thursday, no, no, Thursday, Friday for Adelaide, it's not going to be like you oh, know, yeah. not 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 the those weekend. levels. The weekend, sure, 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 sure. but I mean, the ad, I think the Adelaide Grand Prix in the nineties still holds the record for the most amount of people at a at a Formula One racing mm-hmm. event ever. I think we're talking about one hundred and fifty to one hundred sixty thousand people were there just on race day. Just on race day, yeah. Like that's that's you see the footage. They're on like climbing the fence. Mm. The whole decredible terrace thing was was a grandstand the whole way. Yes, back then. Mm. Well, we spoke to cool. Greg Russ we um did. last week, which is by the way is on our YouTube and Spotify. He actually went into detail about how everyone loved the, did. the Grand Prix, and then how it all ended. Everyone was really pissed off. Yeah. So yeah, and that's why they're making mm. this event as big as it is. Well, because yeah, we exactly. can prove to F one that our events are 
just as good, if not better, than mm. the Melbourne Grand Prix. But it's also the 25-year anniversary since the, the first one in 1999, where Craig Lowndes did an amazing drive to go from last to first. He ended up winning Saturday, got disqualified. Because back in the day, they had one big race, right? One 500-kilometer race split into two. So wherever you finish in race one, you start in race two. You're not allowed to touch the cars, et cetera, et cetera. And Craig, because he was disqualified, start from the back. And he climbed his way up to the front and dominated. It was unreal. But we've had so many amazing moments. I mean, the Nick Perkat win. Remember that no, year when the thunderstorm insane. actually, the lights you, went out. Like, I there's found actually no electricity. So you know how that, this is what Gizzy said on the pod. You know how... um. Fabian, was it Fabian that crossed yeah. line first, but because he didn't have the... No, Nick Nick, that was still first, mm. but Fabian was right behind him. Oh, well, anyway, the, <laughs> the fuel issue, right? That's yeah, what I'm trying to say. Fuel issue, Apparently, yes. the reason that Percat was in the position he was, was because they actually ran out of fuel on lap five. Really? Oh, yeah. yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. They had a fuel issue. So they screwed up, and that screw up won the race, and, the, and their yeah, because... other screw up, Ruin their Because they're the only team that filled it up to the brim. Yeah. yeah. Because they forgot to feel at the beginning. Wow. So there you go. I so, didn't know that until heading here. <laughs> so their so their engineer had just finished an eye racing race and he had just he he left the quali set up and actually I've forgot. Done, I've yeah, done, yeah, 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 I've done that so many, many times. times. That's exactly oh, what it was. It's my yeah, worst but, fear. Yeah, sure. but so many incredible moments. The our favorite, the 2014 uh, McLaughlin uh versus Wing Cup. Good. I'm not I'm glad you didn't mention another one. Thank you. Yeah. And I just put it into well, second. And I <laughs> remember remember his famous words. We're not going to mention him here. We're, we're exactly. not allowed. No, yeah, we're, we're not allowed. allowed. That was inc- I was so stoked to be there. Um, yeah. Hit straight. It was unreal. I'm unreal. wearing a shirt right now. So yeah, yeah you are. There you don't go. Don't hurt my feelings. All right. But no, there's been some great yeah. um, McLaughlin moments. The you know, first Mustang mm. victory. He dominated. he dominated that. Smashed everyone mm. twice. Yes. Um. Yeah, some incredible moments. But uh, back to the event, how you mentioned the Thursday, Friday thing. I think what Adelaide 500 done amazingly is the sprint car thing. Mm. Concerts are cool. Yes. But they're more of a weekend vibe. Yeah. Yeah. And having the Speedway happen on the Thursday and Friday only, I think it's a really, I'm actually really looking forward to it, going to that after the event. It's going to be yeah. really, really cool. Yeah. And the best part is, is anyone who gets a ticket into the 500 itself, automatically gets to go there mm-hmm. uh, it's not like they haven't hidden it behind a you know no, a paywall in, it's in the track it's fantastic yeah it's where the concert was last year uh and it, it's a really really uh, amazing thing because we've also got supercross as well um for their championship and the stadium super trucks as well come back for the first time since 2020 yes have they been raced since 2020 yeah, i don't yeah, know they race in the i can't find any i don't know footage. but one of my friends he's actually put his business on one of them. So you you actually see Codefish Studios wow. on one of them as they're flying through the air. I think I it's love brilliant. That. that is great fantastic. Idea. I mean, it's brilliant marketing um, and so clever. Like, you know, they're an app development business, but yet, you know, they're going to be on a race car yeah. as it flies through the air. Oh, it's That's so good. Sweet. It's Plus, so good. Everyone watches the super trucks. Everyone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And if you're trackside, go to a bit where there's a jump. You won't regret it. They, oh. they fly... Higher than it looks on TV. Mm. I don't know how we are going to fit everything into the storage that we were not. Like, we just need to publish as quick as we can. You have phone storage issues quite often, don't you? I will be afterwards. We will definitely. (laughs) We definitely will. No, it's, it's super exciting. And I mean, for us, being behind the scenes and actually having the media... We'll be right in the paddock. We'll be backstage behind the supercars, uh, um, garages, and just interviewing all types of people that are, that are there throughout the event. Um, we have a full grid of super utes. They've come a long way. This weekend, Absolutely. everything's massive. Like, you every know, category. Trans Am. Uh, we'll get into that. Except for except one. Except for one. Yeah. Literally, Literally. one. <laughs> one category. Ugh. Just, just say just, it. Just okay. Trans Am. I mean, you know, there's a title to be decided there. I mean, mm. they had some spectacular yeah. racing that at was, Bathurst. That was really good racing. Really good yeah. racing. But not, but imagine that. Like, they had to race at Bathurst and pack up everything Next and quickly ship it out to Adelaide. Mm. I mean, literally that's, no That's time. why they didn't race on the Sunday this weekend. Yes. was because they had to oh, ship it over to That makes state. sense. So, which is a weird feeling. It is weird. <laughs> it was weird. But um, it makes sense. But... Uh, and go to the, to the big announcement of uh, okay. the, one. I mean, are, we, are we ready for this one category? This is for incredible. One announcement. This, 
by the way, this, this is, is a one time only. This is actually history in the making because it's the last time this the category will make an appearance. Of the stupidest. Thing and it's I've also heard. the last time this specific car will make an appearance too. This is so silly. Ladies and gentlemen, behold, Super 3 has a whopping one car field in <laughs> trophy up for grabs. And it's actually a Ford Falcon blueprint. Uh, model, which is actually the last time the car will be allowed to race in the Super 2 category. Yeah, that part's cool. Um, so that oh, was wow. already happening. And then suddenly, because the reason behind this is because the Nissans, uh, which make the rest of the field, the whopping three field, um, Cody Bircher, who won the Super 3 title, uh, Matt White Motorsports decided to, you know, to hold off because of the crashes they had at Bathurst. Mm -hmm. um, which, by the way, can't believe their race, last race. I wish they raced at Gold Coast. Um, but uh, just a side note, it would have been a safety car. But they race. have been, they've decided to just sit out because they've yes. already won the title. What's the point? What's the point? Yeah, but sorry, what title? Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but next right. year, well, I wonder if he gets a trophy. I wonder if that actually, of course, he does. Do you reckon it's still going to be Super 3 or you reckon he's just going to slap on the Super 2? Because next year, Super 3 will be any of those cars except for the blueprint cars. So the, the new ones, the car of the future model, mm. will be eligible for Super 2. So, um, back how it used to be. I yeah, think, cool. Look, I think it's fascinating. I, I'm not sure why they even accepted the category with four cars. I mean, you can't call it a category if you've got four cars on the grid. I mean, a back one. back when Super Ute started, they were a brand new brand new category, and they had, I think, like eight or yeah, ten. Something like that. I mean, it has to be double digits. Like, it yeah. just has to be, you know, to be, to be a proper category. And, and for, you know, there was a lot of talk actually happening on social media or on Facebook about this, that the cost to run a Super 3 car compared to running in Trans Am or TA2, it just doesn't make sense. Like the no, numbers just, are just literally, actually... you're throwing money away. Correct. Yeah. For no reason. And and like, you know, as a driver, this is what, again, I go back to sim, uh, sim, sim racing and esports and all that. You want to race against the best. Yeah. There's no point in winning if you're not racing against the best. Mm -hmm. And we saw another category. We won't mention names. We saw another category over the weekend, and they had their final round. And we saw the lap times, and their lap times were like two seconds slower than another category with the exact same type of cars. And even if you win, what have you won? Because you're not racing against the best. So these yeah. four cars mm -hmm. that are racing in Super 3, come on. like. Well, funny enough, joke. like yes, they're... I mean, they're racing four other cars in the category, but they're on the track. It wasn't as bad as being by yourself. Yeah. They're on the track as Super 2. So a lot of them, I think Cody Bircher was finishing overall like 15th, 14th. Yeah, he was doing, he was actually in the like, mix. He was actually yeah. beating yeah, yeah. Super 2 guys and not only just beating them, but kind of. Speaking of, speaking of Super yeah. 2, we've got a whopping, we've got an exciting end of the championship too. We've got a three way fight. Yes. Uh, after yeah, Kai Allen's horrible Bathurst, yep. he's now um, 42 points behind in third position. Uh, oh, behind Aaron Cameron, yep. who's behind Zach Bates, who, by the way, will be racing for Triple Eight next year in their wildcard program. So let's talk about it. Who's going to win? I reckon Kai. Kai's really strong. He's good at um, he's, he's very good Yeah, he, he, you know, he did really well last year. Do of you course, guys remember what happened in Super 3? I do. I do remember that. Oh. I, it, think, I, I think Kai will win. When it actually I, I have competitive. Yeah. I think he'll make history. He'll be the first double, double Super 2 champion. I have faith. He's done well all year. And um, he was dominating that race, by the way. When when that crash did happen, yeah, he yeah. was. He was dominating. But I think also wild cards as far as for the win of the Super 2 race could be Bradley Vaughan. I mean, I think Bradley has been in really, really hot form lately. Um, he's really getting on top of the qualifying session. So I think, I think he'll do really, really well. And also... He's not in the championship hunt, so no, just go for it's it. just, just go for it and make let, SA proud. Yeah, and let the and let the others. And also, it will be a great story because of obviously what happened last year was a disaster for him in Super Two, Turn Eight, mm. and um, yeah, let's see, let's see what happens. But um, Brad Vaughan's also racing in sprint cars too, I think. Um, I know, that's that's double really cool. Yeah. That's cool. But uh, overall, it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. If you are trackside this weekend, be sure to you know come up and say hi we don't buy it apparently um we're not allowed to anymore but uh in all seriousness we'll be there so feel free to say hi it's going to be an epic weekend i'm excited for the opportunity to go behind the scenes can't wait. it's can't wait. Be, it's, expect a lot of content coming from but us. also it doesn't just start on thursday no you it know, starts tomorrow tomorrow, oh, yeah, tomorrow even tomorrow. the truck parade going through i think it's mantle road mm. all the way into the city yes um best view i think was uh, king william street um same for tractor town 
That's going to uh, be awesome. on Wednesday. Mm. Uh, to see the, the race cars on the road is going to be that will be cool. First be time cool. ever here, but we've seen it all year. And we've, they've got lots of positive feedback. Started from in it. Torpor, didn't it? Yep. Yeah, and they've been now, doing it ever, every, every round event, since. Every round yeah, since, which so. is a really good move. So. Fantastic, and fantastic. it's not a very long drive. It's a couple and, of minutes, and, no. and you know we have a bit of a surprise as well on Thursday that we're announcing. Mm. So that's going to be really, really cool. So no, it's going to be an epic Adelaide 500. We can't wait. We're going to be there every step of the way, every practice, qualifying, every session of every category. It's yeah, it's going to be fantastic. Yeah, and we'll cover all the action, of course, on our social medias as best as we can. Uh, as, as best, best as, as we, we can. can. But we're going to be everywhere, but we'll try. We'll try our best. But it's also going to be on ltmotorsport.com, of course, our, yes. our uh, news website. But that is the end of our show. Um, thanks, everyone, who has listened with your Radio Italiana or you're actually listening to our Spotify and YouTube. Uh, do check out our social media, like I said. Check out uh, Slipstreams as well, uh, or on TikTok and Facebook and Instagram and so forth. Anything and everything. Um, and, uh, yeah, thanks for listening, guys. My name is Daniel. This is Ivan and Alex. See you next week. Bye. Bye See you now. next time.